YouTube, what is up with y'all today? I got my camera a little elevated today. Um, I'm not the tallest guy, no way, but I got a new review here for you guys. Actually, actually, no, it's a it's a it's a shoe I already had. It's not like a new. So when I mean by new, well, you know what I mean, new review, because y'all it's new to y'all. But oh yeah, man, I'm not wearing no. Uh, in case y'all ain't noticed, uh, yeah. For once, I don't got on the hat today. Got the got the hair done a little bit. Um, it's been a little minute since I shot a video. Really, I've been I've been uploading like a lot of the stuff that's like you know like from stuff I already shot probably in like one day. So if I was on a roll, you know that's that's one of the reasons why probably like you would see me in like the same clothes and, and everything like that. So just know I'm not wearing like the same stuff every day. So obviously, I'm quite sure you've been looking at my channel long enough now. You know that I probably sometimes I do review like three to five kicks in one day and then just put them out sporadically or something like that. But today, I have my first Barkley, my first Charles Barkley kick, and that is the Nike Air Force Max 2013. Now, they don't look like the OG because they have like the Hyperfuse technology, but it really didn't ruin the shoe. Um, I remember when in 2013 when these kicks did come out. And uh, they came out in a variety of colorways. Um, you know, everybody was trying to do the grape colorway. And these were one of the shoes to fall victim to the grape colorway. Um, and I, you would think that, like, oh, well, if it's in a grape colorway, it's a dope shoe or whatever. You know, but, you know, it will be a, it's a good colorway, so it will go on, like, almost any shoe. It can to a certain extent, but that year, Nike was just overdoing that a little bit to me. And you know, around that time, 2013, everybody couldn't wait till the grade five came out. So um, I got a nine and a half. I got this joint from the Champs Outlet. And they they named it 2013 because they know for damn sure it wasn't like the OG. The OG actually has the threading in it. But to me, this really didn't break uh, me buying it. So it's okay. It's okay. The black one, I love that one, which is the one I got today. Uh, my second favorite, and also to the black one, is like the OG colorway. One of the OG, many OG colorways. Um, the also like the red one too. That's like my second favorite. And um, the white one, the white, red, and black one. That's okay. That might be like number three. I don't really like any. T oh, except for the other OG colorway with the black and blue concord. Um, that's an OG colorway. Black, white, and Concord blue. And I'm about to say Magic Johnson. Charles Barkley actually wore that one too, just as well as he wore this one. So, jumping off into the kick, man. I, I wear a size 10, got a nine and a half. Um, this one right here, make sure my socks is pulled up. Very, you know, so because like, this was one of the lessons I learned by getting a Nike with a strap on it. Um, I should have got a probably a size 10 in this, but they only just had a size nine and a half. And I uh, pulled my sock all the way up, tried it on. It fits, it fits nice, like exactly to my foot. So it's not really too much creasing or anything. But uh, like I said, when it comes to like Nikes with straps, I always like to stay true to size or go a half size up just to be for sure. You don't really too much want to go down or at least try to shoe on before you, uh, if a shoe has a strap, at least try it on before you buy it. So just so you know how I feel as far as comfort. Um, the comfort on these are pretty decent. It's not like the most, most comfortable shoe all the time, but it does its, it does its work. Definitely holds the foot. To me, this is, reminds me of like a low top sneaker boot for some reason, like those low top Ralphie boots um, in a way. Just a little bit, but you know, this you can't really too much call this a low top because this is like barely made me a top status. Um, but I do like the colorway on this. The colorway is classic. Um, definitely remind me of the nineties, you know, the black masculine colorway got the gray masculine as well. You know, nothing really too much to the shoe It's very subtle. That's one of the things I like about it. And, um, and you know, black, you can wear that a black kick with almost like anything. So it's like, that's a no brainer. This kick, I forgot how much I got it for, but I think I got it for like, uh, 50 or 52 bucks at the Champs outlet at the time in 2013. 
Um, the shoe is starting to age a little bit, of course, with the white right here. Now, um, this is like a white paint, I guess, on here, or it might be a, no, it might be a white rubber or something. And you know, of course, rubber turn, white rubber turns off white as time passes. So, you know, that's typical of this shoe. Looking at the bottom, the bottom is still OG. I've seen the OG version of these. Um, not too much of a big difference. Uh, but this one might be slightly better as far as like if you don't want to have threading. Now, with the OG, the threading was right here. And, um, you know, that was basically it. And what I mean by the threading is obviously the sewn up parts, you know, where you see needle and thread like areas. And uh, the Hyperfuse technology at the time, 2013 they also came out with the other ones um the cb 34s or 94s I already reviewed them or whatever but you could go and see it it's black white and concord and it has the two straps that was also hyperfuse as well so this was one of those shoes that came out that year with the hyperfuse technology and the hyperfuse technology again um if i'm not mistaken it's just when they don't use needle and thread so um what do you guys think i mean the og does have the needle and three and you can't go wrong with it and when needle and three you just see all the lining around there around here if i even did get the ogs it'll probably be weird seeing it seeing the og now because the threading will be like it could probably start messing with me but nevertheless though it's a classic shoe this is one of the shoes uh one of the you know top three shoes in barkley career to me though personally though man that i like um, it's not number one though, because the CB94s is probably number one, where it has like the the um, the straps, like the elastic bands, similar to a stray jacket, yeah. So, um, like on my, if you go and look at my Charles Barkley uh, hybrid video, the, the Chuck Posit, these are actually used on that shoe. So, they took some inspiration from this Barkley and put it on that shoe as well. And uh, also at the top right here, you so uh, embroidered force. You got the Air Max in gray. Man, it's just crazy. <clears throat> of course, you can see that this is like a plastic in the back. But like I said, but this shoe though definitely very masculine to me. I like wearing it with black jeans. Um, the new buck is kind of powdery feeling. It's not like the soft move. You know, so, so if you do your finger like this, you can see your finger. It's nothing like that. It might be a door buck if I'm not mistaken. Um, this right here feels like it might be like 3M, this gray area. And this is a plastic shank right here. Um, this shoe is definitely one of the ones that's like kind of like forgotten until like you wear it. And people be like, whoa, you know, where the hell you get those at? Where can I get those at? Um, this is not really an expensive shoe, but um, it's just like a lot of other slept on like Nikes or whatever. Like, you know, like this, this is one of those kicks that came and went and had its time or whatever. Um, seen, I, I, I have seen a few people wearing these kicks in 2013 when they did come out, but um, as soon as 2014, not, not as a matter of fact, not even as soon as 2014 hit. Finishing off the rest of 2013, I didn't really see nobody else wearing this, at least in my area. But, and you know, everybody all over the Jordan stuff, but that's another story. But I ain't gonna wanna, I don't wanna keep y'all here too long. I'm trying to see if my, okay. I just wanted to see if my bubbles was my air bubbles was getting foggy because you know what that means. But um, yeah, I, this was definitely I wore this kick this week though, man. And I was like, man, I forgot all about my Barkley. So, yep, this is one of them. I got another, I got another colorway of this kick too. So, stay tuned for that one coming soon. I'll tell you how I feel about that one. One of the reasons I review some of my kicks, you probably like, well, if you're reviewing this one, then why don't you review all of them or whatever, or however many you got. They they give me like different feelings to the point where it almost feel like a different shoe completely. Um, so yeah, so like, you know, it might be a yellow, all yellow version like this. And I might say, you know, um, it reminds me of like Cheerios or some shit, like the Cheerio cereal box or something, you know. So that's like a whole different feeling. Now this feeling right here, definitely 90s wear with like some burgundy joggers or some burgundy chinos, burgundy jeans. This is definitely a shoe that would set it off for your fall wardrobe. So yeah, stay on the lookout for these. Well, <laughs> I guess you could go to eBay and hit up and see what's, what's, what's what or whatever. But these really don't too much. You could probably still catch these for like less than 100 bucks though. Because everybody not really too much like crazy over Barkley that much. 
like a Jordan, but whatever, whatever, man. I am out. So, rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. Um, remember, don't just stock the kicks, rock the kicks, and last but not least, let them joints breathe. Follow me on Twitter at Nail Goodfella. This is Goodfella Nail. I'm out.